like that oh good girl it's okay yeah it's okay baby just took her outside and she didn't go urinate so she just can't squat and I've been looking online um, just ordered some pee pads in case because going outside and lifting her it's probably not the best thing huh baby so you can see she's got like this arch hump in her back. And if you look from the top down, she's got this curvature right here. You can see she's really struggling to walk well. Kind of made up this bed for her. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Oh yeah. I think you're getting a little stronger though. You look a little better. You did that all by yourself. Good girl. Hi, sweetie. Good night, baby. It's okay. You stay there. You're okay. Good girl. You stay there. Good girl. Trying to make her comfortable down here. I've got some extra pillows here. Some more back there I'm kind of freaking her out so I'm actually gonna probably cut this video short or at least I'm just gonna get into bed so that I'm not freaking her out so much beef is just hanging out down here I'm gonna sleep here hopefully uh, she has a good night last night was rough but she's been improving a lot today I'm blown away by how well she's doing right now uh, she's able to walk a lot more effectively. She's still got that kind of drunk sailor gait going on, but she has had significant improvement throughout the day today. This is night number two after her injury. We'll see how it goes. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot better. Last night was a struggle because she obviously was in a lot of pain. She was on a lot of you know, the anesthesia was wearing off, and so that was affecting her. But I have a feeling tonight's going to be a lot better. Anyway, thanks for tuning in again, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, everyone. Uh, today is uh, the second day. So she was injured on Monday. Yesterday was the first full day, and today we're on, like, our third day, second day? It happened two days ago. We're on day three, that makes sense. But, um, just gonna give FIFA some food. Quick update, she's doing really good. Uh, she's getting a little bit better each day. Here we go. And I'm really optimistic. We're gonna schedule the physical therapy for her. Uh, let her heal for a couple weeks, then get that scheduled. What do you think? We're doing just her normal food. Um, she just isn't eating as much. So we've got the Honest Kitchen dehydrated stuff in there along with uh, rice and chicken and a hard boiled egg. So good nutritious meal. You can see the arch in her back is significant still from the top. She is still curving this way as uh, it's affecting much of her back left leg. So making progress um i'd i'd show you if she were done eating but she's walking still with that limp um she's getting around though will the food good do you like it yeah you look a little high there buddy you still look a little little woozy can you show the people how to walk huh show them how you're walking you walking okay Come here. 
Okay, yeah, good girl. You still got a weird little little leg thing going on, huh? Come here. Okay. You're doing so much better though. So much better. Good job. Hello everybody. I am um, at the physical rehab place right now. Just uh, dropped off FIFA. Vet came out and gave us uh, basically a summary of what the plan is. And she said, yeah, um, you're gonna wanna keep FIFA off leash, or excuse me, keep her on leash uh, for the next six weeks. I took her off leash yesterday just to see how she was doing in the backyard. And I was just so nervous. And there were a couple times when kind of like her her legs would sweep from under her. Um, and the vet said, yeah, you really shouldn't be doing that. 10 minute walk for the next six weeks is what we're looking at. And she's gonna slowly recover. We're gonna come do physical therapy twice a week for um, the next six weeks or so. Luckily they do have a package where you can uh, get 10 treatments done at 10% off. So um, that's gonna help. But um, as far as the actual physical therapy goes, um, part of it is uh, the laser treatment. So I'm gonna have to research what that's all about, but a cold laser is what it's described as. So stay tuned for more details on that. And then they do have a, a water tank uh, therapy as well, where they leash him up to a, a harness and they fill the tank up with water and it gets up to, I want to say, we'll look at the video, but I want to say up right above their chest level so that it makes them walk in a straight line without, you know, having them use just their front legs. She's in there now. She's getting her first treatment done. Uh, the treatments take about 30 minutes, so she'll do the laser and then she'll do the water. Uh, big thanks to everybody. We're going to be able to get these treatments paid for. Um, like I said, I, I've got the pet insurance. It's covering 90% of the cost, but still anticipating. Um, I already dropped three grand, so I had to pay $300 out of pocket. But for the treatments, we'll see what that ends up being. And But with all the contributions and the donation from the GoFundMe, uh, I'm thinking we should be able to get all of these treatments covered. So I really wanted to thank all of you for the care and concern. That you've had it really shows that a lot of people um are truly concerned about fifa's well-being which is really cool it's really cool to get those messages from everybody um people that have been following us for so long now and it's been great to to see everybody and your comments and your concern and your contributions as well so thank you